Hey, Hez, I wonder if you could just take us through what the feeling was like to finally be back out there in a game, in a game environment, to start making plays again. Man, it was fun. It's been a while, about like a year and a half. Haven't played since 2018, so it's been fun to get back out there with the guys. Uh, been missing my teammates for sure. Um, they've been doing a great, tremendous job uh, winning, and I'm just uh, happy to be out there to contribute. Could you walk us through your story a little bit and just what the last 18 months have been like? The first injury and then I think I guess a re-injury that caused you to miss a little bit more time this fall. Yeah, so um, first day of fall camp uh, last season, uh, I ruptured my Achilles uh, like, I'm, like early in the practice. Um, so, you know, I was a uh, sideline for that. You know, it, was, it had a lot of ups and downs, but uh, – Gave me a great opportunity to learn a lot about myself, you know, outside of football, you know, you know, not being able to, you know, step back on the field and play football, you know, I learned, uh, found out a lot about myself, different hobbies, uh, and just, just found out how much I really love the game, you know, being away from the game was tough for me, for sure. All right, next up is going to be Travis Brown from the Bryan College Station Eagle, and then we'll go to Brent. Yeah, you mentioned finding what about, a little bit more about yourself and some hobbies. What 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 did you learn about yourself in that time? Uh, just I learned that I, uh, I can sew. You know, I started like I got a sewing machine, started sewing, started making like pants and stuff. And, you know, I found myself like uh, kind of like dipping into like fashion a little bit. You know, and the different sorts of um, ways I can just you know things I can do outside of football. You know, I started reading books. Uh, but also, you know, when I was outside of football, you know, I still studied the game very much. Uh, studied NFL film, college film, our film, uh, different other people's film, and just, you know, still being a student of the game all, always. What's the best piece of uh, – your, your favorite piece of, of clothing that you've made or sewn or put together? Man, <laughs> I've been making, like, pants. Like, I make, like, stack pants, you know, just – you know, I do something with like some different prints. You know, I just, just whatever, whatever my mood is at the time. You know, I get a little creative. You know, always. <laughs> yeah, was that something that was a, a bit, like how, how how why sewing? Um, I always just been, uh, I always love fashion. You know, like just different shirts, different brands like Tokyo street streetwear brands. Uh, High quality designers, so I just always like studied that, and like outside of football, you know what I'm saying? It's just another hobby of mine, just fashion, just. And I just started making pants, you know. I was, you know, it was quarantine, you know, it was what must to do to stay in the house, and I just, you know, looked on YouTube, and I was like, man, I'm, I'm trying to be a fashion designer, man. Like, <laughs> I need a sewing machine. I can make some pants or something, like, you know, I'm trying to get in the game, so. You know, I just started looking on YouTube and just start learning how to sew. Um, you know, I just bought a sewing machine and, you know, the rest is history. You know, I have that always, you know, when I go back home, sew, sew a little bit for an hour or two, just get my mind off of football and just, you know, school and everything. And then finally, how were you able to stay involved with the team during both of these times off and, and stay engaged with, with football and the team? Uh, always in practice, you know, I'm always uh, sitting behind the coaches, asking for the plays. Um, I'm always out there making an impact, uh, encouraging encouraging these guys out in practice to, you know, just finish through practice, you know, especially those hard days we have. Um, just finish through practice and just, you know, keep the energy high and positive around there always. You know, I feel like that's my job is, you know, being able to contribute, you know, not off, not on the field but off the field with just – you know, keeping these guys' energy real high so we can uh, we can be great in practice and practice and finish practice. Appreciate it. All right, let's move to Brenton Zorderman from the Houston Chronicle. As you hit us with a lot there with the pants deal, are you already <laughs> are you already selling them? And if so, how can people go about? Uh, no, I'm I'm more so focused on football right now. You know, finishing the season off. Uh, that's probably be after after season. I'll probably do something of that sort. But right now, I'm focused on football. Right now, what's the main material for the pants? Uh, denim, cotton, any any material. I haven't really just got into it, so 
after the season, I'll, I'll, I'll probably be deep into it, just doing those those things. But right now, I'm focused on football and winning games. You mentioned reading a couple of books or a few books in, the, in that time. What, what's an example of one or two of those? Uh, just been studying about, um, it's like, I got this one book I thought was interesting. It was just the secret, the ancient secrets of the flower of life. Um, it's been talking about like a lot of spiritual things, you know, just something that was interesting. It caught my eye, and very much so in, in that in that aspect. And uh, just been reading and just been learning about just history beyond uh, American history or something, but just like really ancient history. You know, it's very interesting. Like. And all the aspects in, in that in that area it was just very interesting and caught my eye. So that was one of the books I've been reading. Uh, just been in Jimbo's playbook, and that's one of my favorite books <laughs> right there. So those two books are my favorite right now. <laughs> you know, as a fellow veteran receiver, what was that conversation, you know, as you're fighting to kind of get back into action and play, what was that conversation like with Jamon Osmond when he decided to, to go ahead and opt out for his senior season? Uh, Jamon, that's like one of my best friends, so I supported him a thousand percent. Uh, it was his decision, and uh, he made that decision. I, I was there to support him as a best friend, you know, and as a teammate also. And uh, I just know with him gone, I, I had a lot more uh, load to carry on the leadership side, being one of the only veterans with uh, Cameron Buckley being injured too, and uh, Caleb Chapman also, and you know, being like one of the only veterans in the group, uh, I had to take on that uh, big leadership role. So, you know, I learned from him. I talk to him every day still. You know, we're still the best of friends always. So um, that's that's really what, what happened uh, with me and Jamon and just me being able to be in that leadership role that he w once was in. Thank you for those good stories. Appreciate it. All right, next up is Mike Lucas from KAGS, and then we'll go with Tyler Shaw. Hey, guys, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about you? I like your Houston good. jersey we talk... time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no one gave it to me, but it looks good on TV, so oh, I'll keep yeah. it. But uh, last week when we talked to Kellen, he kind of lit up talking about getting you back on the field. You come back against Arkansas, the connection and the chemistry between you two was pretty evident immediately, despite the fact you haven't played in a year and a half. So how did you guys keep that chemistry up, even with you not necessarily being on the field to get the reps you probably need? Yeah. Uh, me and Kellen have been knowing each other for a long time. I've been actually been catching footballs from Kellen since sophomore year in high school. So, you know, we kind of started early with our chemistry and all. But um, just being in the being in the film room with Kellen and just seeing where he goes, like asking him, "Hey, why'd you uh, make that throw? Or what was your read on that?" You know, just to get his get his mind so I can so we can kind of gel together. Uh, you know, when I get back on the field, but you know, really, that just comes from knowing knowing where we have to, where, where we all have to be uh, as a receiver, knowing where the quarterback wants to throw the ball, knowing what his reads are, so I can be ready for um, ready for the ball when it comes for me when it comes to me. And just um, he's a he's a very uh, football geek, so just being around him, being his roommate, uh, spend a lot of, lot of time talking talking football, talking life, you know, talking about everything. So. You know, just understanding him from from every aspect has also helped our chemistry, too. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Right, let's go to Tyler Shaw from KBTX and then Justin Woodard. Hey, has kind of building off of that that chemistry aspect, you, as a receiving core, you guys have had to deal with a lot with, you know, opt-outs, injuries, and, and everything. So what um, what would, from your perspective, I mean, you've only just played your first game this year, but – where has the chemistry just overall? Because you know, as the games have progressed, the you know the passing game has been clicking. It seems like. Yeah. So, a lot of those things happen earlier, like in the fall camp. So during the fall camp, we we gained a lot of chemistry from there. Just that uh, fall camp, we we were clicking on all cylinders. It seemed like from the jump, you know, uh, guys stepped up. Chase Lane, Cam Brown, uh, Jalen Preston. Uh, nice has to go back, to, uh, come back to receiver. He stepped up, but um, all that chemistry came from just uh, a want to kind of, and a one in one in a win, trying to figure out how 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 can we win in uh, in a lot of those situations. So uh, 
we just got in the film room with Kellen and all quarterbacks and Jimbo and Coach Craig also helped us uh, tremendously too with uh, teaching us in the summer and the uh, off season. All right, let's go to Justin Woodard from KAGS and then Chip Howard. Maybe a weird question for you to try to answer on yourself here, Haz, but what do you think you bring to that receiving room? Uh, just some experience. You know, I've, I've played in games uh, 2018. Uh, a lot of these guys haven't played in the college football game ever. So um, just experience and just keeping the energy high. Like, I'm a big energy guy. Like, you know, you just got to keep positive vibes and positive energy around me. So me being in the in the locker room, being in the film room, being on the field, you know, just keep that, that energy high and just have fun while we go out there and play. Just keep reminding those guys, like, that's the reason why we play, is to have fun. So I guess I'm the, the motivator guy in the, uh, in the room. But it's fun being with those younger guys, man, just watching them grow uh, from fall camp, in the summer, you know, being in the Zoom meetings, watching them learning the offense for the first time, you know, and just seeing where they're at now and just their progressions. It's, it's, it's really amazing just to see that. Those are great guys, all of them, great group of guys. One quick follow-up. I asked Jimbo this, too. seems to us that Kellen is really trusting where you guys are supposed to be, especially with you in your first game, like some of the area I asked in a long time, but with the other guys, too. Where does that come from? Is that just repetition, repetition, or is that just something you all have to know where, where you're supposed to be and be in your right spot? Um, it's a little bit of both. I think uh, repetition uh, has a big, uh, big factor to play in that, you know, just repping those – different coverages, where we're supposed to be in those different holes. Um, and also just uh, getting in our playbooks and watching film, you know, and just talking about it, you know what I'm saying, communicating on the field, off the field, hey, what happened that play? Uh, he was here, so, like, just fixing fixing the problem the first time, you know, and just uh, really being enthusiastic, enthusiastic with that uh, really helped us. All right, the next question is from Chip Howard from Sports Talk and then Gabe Bach. As you alluded to this a little earlier, but the guys opting out, Caleb getting hurt, how much was that, how much did that motivate you to try to get back as quickly as you could, knowing that how much you could help that group? Um, you know, I was just taking it a day at a time, really. Uh, it was really great to see those guys grow you know, with me not being on the field, but I was also in, still in the film room and helping them out. And just just me being on the other side of that, just helping them, watching them, those guys grow, you know, while I was out. And, you know, once I got back in, um, it was kind of just, just a want to contribute to the team. Uh, it really wasn't um, much else. I just, you know, that's my biggest thing is just being available and contributing to the team always. At what point did you know you were going to play Saturday? Had that um, been on the calendar circled for a while? Uh, <laughs> nah, uh, it was just one of those things where I was just taking uh, taking it a week at a time. Uh, practiced some in a, in a uh, bye week. Felt good. Um, I was doing good throughout the, all, all the bye week and then came came through the Arkansas week and felt good. So I, um, I was a... The training, the trainers gave me a, a go to play, a green light to play. So uh, it was just really just happened. It happened really fast, but uh, I was always ready for the moment. Thanks. All right, we're up against a break, so we only have time for one more question. Gabe Bach from TexAgs.com. Yeah, I has. I wanted to ask you specifically about some young guys. Every week, a new guy seems to step up in this receiving course, so there's definitely time for some other new guys. It's a very deep unit, bunch of inexperience, but. Can you take us through, just from your perspective, as the lone veteran out there really on scholarship, uh, like a Demas, a Dalen Wright, some of these young guys we haven't seen much of, what could you say about their continued growth and development? Oh, those guys, they're working hard at practice, you know, and they're, they're, they're showing the want to, the want to learn the offense and the want to be on the field. And uh, all those guys are, are progressing great. Um, Demas has learned the playbook. Uh, Dalen's running great routes, learning the playbook. Uh, Moose is learning the playbook. All of them are running great routes at uh, practice. So all of them are, are being ready to play. They're all ready to play. You know, if they're if they're ready to get in the game, when they get in the game, they're going to be ready to play. Nice, guys. 
All right, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Hez. Well done. Thank you.